Plus recording. Okay, good. So um, for today, I'm going to discuss about two topics. That is covariance. Uh, sorry, uh, let me write it in a more clear manner. Co covariance. Okay. And then, uh, what is covariance, first of all? So, first of all, covariance shows variability. Okay. Between two variables. So here we are talking about what? Uh, we are comparing two variables. So here we are comparing two variables. Okay. We are comparing two variables. Uh, also, um, that is for covariance. It's more of direction. Like it, it tries to show us uh, in which direction are these two variables moving, okay? So, under covariance, we also see direction. Sorry, uh, I will, uh, that is, um, I'm just drawing. That's why you can see my handwriting, it's, it's poor, okay? This is not my actual handwriting. But uh, it's because I'm using uh, that is uh, a mouse to to draw. Okay. So we've said that covariance basically shows as like a joint variation between two variables. So we might have variable A and what and variable B. Okay. Good. Then we have a direction. Okay. Like he, in this case, it's trying to show as direction of what? Of these two variables. Okay. Another thing, covariance, uh, that is um, uh, ranges between negative infinity and infinity. Covariance. Meaning, you can get a covariance value of, uh, of 1000. Okay. You can also get a, that is a covariance of negative 100, okay? That's why we are saying it runs between uh, negative infinity to infinity, meaning you can get a value or, or uh, yeah, a, a value in terms of what? In terms of millions, okay? Yes, yeah, so that's, this is very important for you to note, that is, the it ranges between negative infinity to infinity uh, that is to infinity and covariance tries to show uh, to show what the direction okay between what between two variables okay and then um, it also has what it has also uh, or tries to show as a relationship between what between two variables okay all right Good. Uh, the other thing uh, about covariance, maybe just to give an, an, an illustration, okay? So let's assume we are having two variables, okay? That is uh, the house size, house size, house size, okay? So this is HS, house size, and what? And price. Our size and uh, our size and uh, just a minute. I check on my mouse. Try it's dragging a lot. Just a minute. All right, that's this is okay now. So here we have two variables. Okay, our size and uh, price prices okay so in terms of size we are talking about maybe uh, the size or uh, that is of the area where the house is is built more so this is a, a real estate uh, that is a, a real estate uh, example 
okay so in this case let's assume maybe a, a house okay is occupying maybe uh, that is a land let's say 20 uh, by what uh, 20 by uh, that is 60 land okay or maybe we can go with the number of bedrooms okay let's assume we are having uh, that is a house with one bedroom okay another house with two bedrooms okay another house with three uh, that is a uh, another house with three bedrooms okay and also another house with four bedrooms okay so definitely we will uh, as the that is a, as the we are varying the the house size so does the price okay like for example do you expect uh, a house with four uh, bedrooms have the same price with a house of one bedroom even let's take an example of maybe where you live okay we have the uh, that is the rent in terms of price for uh, that is for a bed sitter we have for one bedroom we also have for single room we have for two bedroom and three bedrooms okay definitely the the, the, the what the prices of those uh, houses are what are different okay and what is the assumption here logically we know that uh, that is a uh, uh, one bedroom is cheaper than sorry it's uh, uh, more expensive than what than uh, 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 than a single room okay as well two bedrooms uh, house is uh, more expensive than what than one bedroom house okay depending with the area uh, where you are living okay so in this case as the size of the house differs okay so does what so does the the prices okay as the uh, house size differ so does what the price okay so like for example for one bedroom we might uh, we might assume you are paying rent of what 10000 uh, kenyan shillings okay for two bedroom maybe it's going for 15000 okay three bedroom maybe it's going for 25000 okay and four bedroom maybe you might uh, find it's going in, uh, it's going for that 5000 okay so you can see as the number of what as the number of uh, that is the of the house size increases okay so does the what so does the prices okay that's why we are saying covariance is more of directional okay like for example in this we know that as the owl uh, that is as the owl size increasing it increases so does what so does the what so does the the prices so we might have uh, that is a, a like a, a movement okay all these two variables are moving in the same direction okay that is the owl size and the price they are moving in what in two direction okay like the house size is increasing and also the the price is also increasing in case maybe we are reducing or we are starting from the that is from the largest to the smallest okay so we will say that as the house size decreases so does the what the price so in this case you can see we have the aspect of what of the of direction and okay and in in this case when uh, that is uh, when these two variables are moving on the same direction we usually say that's what that's a positive covariance positive covariance okay it is positive covariance why the, uh, that is the two variables are moving in the same direction it might be they are moving uh, 
uh, in ta uh, that is on the like or or let me just keep it uh, simple the movement doesn't matter okay provided the movement is moving or, or the two variables are moving uh, that is uh, the same uh, uh, that is direction that is it can be increasing or decreasing okay the movement of the two variables might be increasing or decreasing provided uh, both the both uh, all the two factors are moving on the same direction that's a positive covariance even if they are decreasing declining okay or decreasing and they are decreasing together okay that's also a positive covariance okay but when does or when do we have uh, that is a, a negative uh, covariance okay we have a negative covariance when the two variables are not moving in the what in the same direction like for example one is increasing and the other one is what is decreasing okay so in case one variable is increasing while the other is decreasing now that becomes what a negative that becomes a negative covariance covariance okay this is covariance all right i hope that point is clear like if the, the 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 two variables are moving in the same direction they might be increasing together or they might be decreasing together okay all these will be what positive covariance okay but in case maybe one variable is increasing and the other one is decreasing okay then these two variables are what they have a negative covariance okay all they are inversely proportion to each other question yes Zemba. yes i think yeah thank you so much for the explanation mm -hmm. But I was wondering now, what if one variable is increasing or decreasing, but the other is static or constant? Hey, well, give me an example because I've never came uh, uh, such a uh, that is uh, <laughs> such a like scenario. right now, like like right. Let's say um, you are in the tax administration, mm -hmm. uh, and you find that for a certain taxpayer. Mm -hmm the sales are increasing mm -hmm. but the tax return or pay to the tax administration is constant it co then then in that case uh, i don't think we'll have uh, a relationship to to that is um to to explain there why because this might be a subject of investigation why are you uh, maybe there must be something wrong in that case okay maybe uh, your sales are going up but your tax maybe or your returns uh, tax returns remain the same okay so meaning there there is someone who is corrupting the uh, that is the process because basically we know that as the uh, maybe as the returns increases okay all as the uh, that is uh, sales increases so does the tax okay so it might mean you are evading uh, that is uh, the tax okay or uh, le yeah let's basically say that okay but in the real scenario we should be having what a relationship here okay like we might be uh, that is these two variables should be moving either together or in a, like in uh, they should be inverse okay one which is going up and the other one which is going one uh, going downwards right are we okay that uh, on that yeah so so i uh, while you are explaining it came to my to my mind mm -hmm. that um maybe for a compliant taxpayer 
-hmm. We can have a, a, a positive covariance or a negative covariance in any situation if uh, he, his business is glowing or the business is not growing. Correct. Now, I, I wanted to ask you, is, is there any statistical indicator that we can use to determine whether a certain taxpayer is, is trying to evade tax because the sales are going higher, that means they're increasing, but the tax return is static. The same amount that the taxpayer has been paying from before is the same amount that taxpayer is still paying. Is so, there any statistical indicator you can use in that case? So for that, we don't have uh, that is uh, any statistical indicator, but rather we can use maybe the trend, okay? Maybe you can try to to plot uh, that data, or you can try to visualize that data in order to see what is the trend here, okay? Do we have any change? Or uh, that is the two curves, are they moving on the, sa like, um, on the same uh, manner or in the opposite manner? But if one variable is remaining stat uh, that is static, then with that, definitely you will be able to, to do what? You will be able to see uh, that is um, um, the change, okay? In case, let's assume, in case, uh, that is the, the two variables, okay? In case, the two variables don't have any covariance, meaning they are neither moving on the same direction, okay? Or in the opposite direction, okay? Then it means our covariance in that case, it will be zero. And once the covariance is zero, then we can say we don't have, uh, we do not have any relationship between what, between these two variables. Okay? Maybe you can go and try uh, having those two. Uh, that is, if it's the cells, and maybe the uh, that is the KRI returns, and see what kind of covariance are you getting. Okay? If you are getting like uh, something close or something uh, zero, then definitely you know what, there is a mismatch here, okay? So uh, I'm not really sure unless we investigate that with with covariance of, um, of uh, and see if we'll get a covariance of zero and uh, or you can maybe in this case try to visualize and see the trend in terms of the data. So with that, definitely you'll get some insights uh, or, or it might act as an indicator that this person is trying to event uh, that, is, um, uh, that is paying taxes. That's okay? Yeah, thank you so much, Sam. It's okay. Okay. All right. I hope we, uh, that is uh, that was clear. Uh, that is on what? On covariance. Okay. We can now go uh, to the, that is correlation. I will explain correlation. Okay. And then after explaining the correlation, we'll also do what? We will also uh, now go uh, and do deep dive. Okay. We'll now do a deep dive. Uh, on the both uh, that is topics, okay? All right, now correlation. Correlation. What is correlation, okay? So basically, correlation tries to show us the strength. It tries to show us the strength of, that is the strength between two variables. between uh, two variables. So here we are also talking about what? Two variables, okay? Two variables. So, strength. So, correlation basically measures the strength between what between between two variables okay then also values of correlation 
uh, that is range between negative 1 to positive 1. For correlation, you cannot get any value which is smaller than negative 1 or it's what? It's big or large than what? Uh, greater than 1. Okay? Good. So, basically, I can try and show maybe the correlation in terms of number line. I'm just going to draw a number line here. We have 0. Okay? We have uh, positive 1. Okay? And in this side, we have uh, that is negative 1. Okay? I can also add negative 0 0.5 here. And I can also say negative, that is positive 0 0.5. Okay? So, for value which are uh, maybe in, uh, are negative 1 and 1, we usually say that uh, we have a perfect we have a perfect negative correlation or relationship between what between the two variables so in case maybe you calculate covariance okay and get um, uh, that is a value which is negative one then it means we have a perfect negative relationship between these two variables okay then, in case we have maybe, or we get a value between what? Between negative 1 and negative 0 0.5, we usually say we have relatively strong negative relationship. Okay? Relatively strong negative relationship. Okay? Then, in case we get a value which is uh, between negative 0 0.5 uh, and 0, then in this case we will have weak negative relationship, okay? Same here. We will have weak but positive relationship, okay? And here we will have what? We will have relatively uh, strong positive relationship, basically. In case we get a value uh, which is between what these given ranges all right all right so another thing maybe uh, that uh, that is just to uh, give you an example sorry we have a question yes maureen yeah hello uh kindly kindly re repeat the, the the number line please eh? okay all yes, thank right. you. On the okay, good. So let's uh, let's now do this. Okay. So uh, let me repeat that. In case you get a value which is negative one, then in this case, negative one tries to uh, indicate what? A perfect negative relationship. In this case, it means we have a very, like, um, uh, that is, these two variables can do what? Can negatively explain uh, that is about, uh, about each other, okay? Like, uh, uh, variable A can explain, okay? Uh, that is about variable B, but what? In a negative manner, okay? When we have a value which is uh, between negative 1 and negative 0 0.5, then it means we have a relative strong negative relationship between what? Between these two variables, okay? Basically, I will, uh, I will explain, um, I will explain much when we will be um, just a minute
Okay, good. Let's continue. So anything or any value between uh, negative 1 and negative 0 0.5, we usually say uh, that is we have a relative strong negative what? Negative, uh, that is a relationship. Okay. In case we have here, we'll have a weak negative relationship and zero. At zero, we'll say that we have what? We have no relationship at all between what? The two variables. Okay. Then, any value between zero uh, and uh, 0 0.5, we usually say we have a, a, a what? We have a, pos a weak positive uh, that is relationship and any value between what? Between 0 0.5 and positive 1, okay? Then this becomes what? Relative, strong, positive relationship. I guess I will explain this uh, much better when we'll be doing uh, that is the practicals, okay? We shall now be able to interpret the value which we get, okay? Any question? I hope that uh, that's okay, uh, Maury. Good. Yes, it's okay. Thank All right. you. All right, thank you. So we also have some formulas. We also have some formulas. I had forgotten to, uh, that is, uh, to show you that. We have uh, mathematical, We have mathematical, uh, that is formulas, okay, for that is covariance and also for correlation. So like for example, let's assume we are dealing with two variables, x and y, okay. So the covariance of x and y is given by, okay, summation of x i is minus x bar, here we are not squaring, multiply by y i is minus y bar. Then divide by what? By n. So in this case, we are saying that uh, that is summation of, uh, that is uh, the, uh, the difference between x i is and x bar or x i is and the, uh, that is uh, the mean of our x uh, x i is values okay multiply by y i is minus the y bar that is the mean for the y i is okay divide by n you will get what you will get covariance okay what about correlation cor for correlation now it is covariance okay uh, that is covariance, let's assume we are dealing with the two uh, same variables, that is covariance of y, uh, x and y, okay? Divide by what? Standard deviation of, uh, let me just write, um, uh, if it is for, if it is for, uh, for a sample data, it will be s, of x that is the standard deviation of x multiply by s of what of y so basically for correlation we are taking the covariance of the two variables divide by the what standard deviation of the individual variables okay all right so this is the mathematical formula for what for covariance and correlation. We shall also use these formulas, okay, in our practical so that you may uh, do a deep dive, okay, on the same. Majorly, we will be using, um, uh, that is, uh, we'll be using uh, covariance, okay, we'll be using, um, uh, that is, uh, data for income, income data and also expenditure data okay all right any question up to that point before now we can see what uh, we have uh, that is in our notes
any question all good all good by show of hello yes good evening everyone good evening uh, uh if you look at the correlation there may be some scenarios uh -huh. that the x or y may not be having a, a correlation maybe let's say that maybe you calculate the correlation and you get 0 0.5 uh -huh. but though x and y are correlated but with another form of a mathematical relationship between them so maybe we cannot confirm that there is no relationship by only considering the that coefficient mm. so maybe I, you can explore more on that explanation Maybe so, I'm thinking that it, that is for testing the linearity between the two variables, but there could be another form of mathematical linking x to y. Mm, yes. All okay. right. All right. Yeah, sure. So uh, basically, uh, of course, correlation uh, will show the linearity between the two variables. Okay. And that's why we are saying in case we have a variable that is a value uh, or the, the correlation of the two variables is zero. It means they are, they are not correlated in, 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 that is in any way. Okay. And this can mean they are not like they don't have any linear relationship. Okay. Then in case we have a, that is a correlation of zero. 0.5. Basically, this is a very weak correlation. Okay, it's a weak correlation, meaning uh, even if it seems we have a relationship between the two variables, okay, but the relationship is what is insignificant. Okay, why? That's why you, you uh, that is in our uh, that is in our um, interpretation. Okay, we'll come to say that any covariance, okay, that is any correlation, sorry, any correlation value uh, of more than uh, 0 0.85 or 85%, okay, it's relative, it's considered to be relatively strong, okay, or any value, okay, or any correlation greater than 0. Uh, 85 it is termed as what as a strong uh, a relative strong uh, correlation meaning for sure there exists a uh, that is a, a correlation or relationship between what between these two variables that's okay i mean yeah, it's okay. I was like emphasizing that is for testing for the linearity and the no linearity. But having that coefficient poor, it doesn't mean automatically that there could be no relationship. For that's sure. what I mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's correct. Okay, so let's go now to the slides and um, maybe do a deep dive on. Uh, that is uh, these two uh, the, these variables okay all right just a minute i want to arrange the slides okay so let's start with covariance so what is covariance so covariance sorry okay all right. Okay, so covariance. What is covariance? So covariance measures the directional relationship between what? Between the returns on two assets or basically between two variables. Okay, covariance shows directional relationship between what? Between two variables. Okay, a positive covariance means that 
the two variables move together while a negative co covariance means they move inversely okay so in case they are moving uh, that is in one direction may it a positive or negative direction so in this case we say we have what a positive covariance or a positive uh, uh, yes a, co a positive covariance okay in case maybe we have an inverse okay relationship meaning one variable is increasing as the other variable is what is in de is decreasing then in that case we will say that it is what it will be uh, uh, that is a negative covariance okay so of covariance is calculated by analyzing uh, that is its, uh, its return that is the standard deviations from the expected what return or by multiplying the correlation between two uh, random variables by the standard deviation of each variable okay we shall see this uh, more when we will be doing the mathematical calculations okay let's come to understanding covariance so covariance evaluates how the mean values of two random variables move together like for example if stock a return moves higher whenever uh, stock b moves higher and the same relationship is found when each stock's return decreases then this uh, stocks are said to have a positive what covariance okay we've said that when maybe one variable is increasing and the other variable is also increasing or when vari one variable is decreasing and the other variable is decreasing then we get what we have uh, that is a, a positive covariance okay in finance covariances are used to calculate uh, that is covariances are calculated to help diversify what security or diversify our investments okay all right the covariance equation is used to determine the direction of the what of the two variables okay just a minute just a minute just give me one minute i will be back Okay, sorry, sorry for that. Uh, was in a, uh, okay, was addressing something else. All right, so um, the covariance equation is used to determine the direction of the relationship between what? Between two variables, between two variables. In other words, whether they tend to move in the same direction or in opposite direction, okay? This relationship is determined by the sign, either positive or negative covariance value. In case you have a negative, like let's say negative 100, okay? In case we have a negative 100, then it means, okay, we'll have what? We will have a negative, uh, that is a um, um, covariance between what? between the uh, the two variables in study okay meaning they are moving in what in opposite direction in case we get a value of 100 which is positive then it means we are having what 
a positive covariance. Either these two variables are moving in uh, the same, uh, like these two variables are moving in the same direction, either in an in a decreasing manner or in an increasing what? In an increasing manner. Okay, good. Yes, we have a question. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, like for correlation, you have seen that the, the boundaries are negative one and positive one. Mm -hmm. But for covariance, we said uh, covariance swings between positive infinity and negative infinity. Correct. Now, when should we say that we have a strong uh, positive covariance or we have a strong uh, negative covariance or the, the, the covariance, whether positive or negative, is weak? So, uh, in, in covariance, we don't have thing to do with, uh, with strong uh, or uh, that is weak, okay? Don't confuse that. In covariance, it's either the two variables are moving in the same direction or in the opposite direction, okay? When we talk about the strength, we talk when we are uh, dealing with what? Correlation, okay? So that means even if we have negative one, if we, if we have positive one, okay, we say they're moving into the same direction. If we have negative one, it's okay. They're they are moving into a different direction. Correct. Meaning as well, that is one variable is increasing as the other variable is decreasing, okay? That is for negative covariance, okay? For, for positive covariance, the two variables are what are increasing or decreasing uh, that is on the uh, or they are moving in one direction as one variable is increasing the other variable is also it is also increasing okay nothing okay. about strength and, uh, okay all right Okay, Maureen. Actually, I, I, I also have the same question. Mm -hmm. If for covariance, it's basically to show the direction. If they're moving in the same direction, we say it's positive. Mm -hmm. If they're moving in opposite direction, we say it's negative. Then why do we have a negative infinity and positive infinity? Because uh, I, I would think that um, a covariance of positive one and a covariance of positive a thousand would be different. Uh, the, the, maybe they would mean different strengths. Okay. So w why would we have the negative uh, infinity and positive infinity if it's just to give the direction? So basically, uh, the reason for that is um, here we are not uh, measuring impact. Okay. Here it's more of directional than impact. As it as uh, as uh, we will see that is in correlation, we will be dealing with impact. Basically, here is just to give us like what, like um, uh, an overview or the direction. The direction. Okay. Yes, of these two variables. Okay. 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 That's why we okay. are talking Not here. Yet. We are here. Yeah. We are dealing with what, with the sign. There is somewhere we've talked about that. Okay, let me show you. Okay, you can see here. The relationship is determined by the sign, positive and negative. Okay, here we are not measuring the impact. And you will see the difference when we will be dealing with the correlation. Okay. Okay. No said. Thank you. Covariance or yeah, correlation. Okay. Yes. I'm All right. Thank you. Is it a aim? Yes. Yes. Is me aim. Mm -hmm. So my uh my question is mm -hmm. suppose that we have a variable x which is correlated to variable y at right. the degree of zero. Uh, zero maybe at the 85 mm percent -hmm. this means that the two variables x and y 
they are changing in the same direction, which will result either positive or negative. Is there any uh, techniques that can help us to know exactly whether they change in negative or in positive? Sorry, come yeah. again on that. Um, my question, let's say that you have variable X and Y, which are changing at the degree of uh, zero uh, at uh, maybe 85 percent meaning that the two are correlated so uh if you look at them they will change they will result either that changing is correlation right yeah uh -huh. and th meaning that they are may be changing positively or negatively mm -hmm. so my question is is there any techniques that you can use that can help us to know directly the either if the two variables are changing positive or negative yes the, of course we will come there uh, that's that's under correlation not covariance right okay, thank you yeah, yeah so we are coming to correlation first of all we are um, closing on covariance and then we will come uh, that is to the correlation okay all right Okay, let's. Okay, uh, Daniel. Um, thank you, thank you again for such a descriptive uh, uh, overview. And my question would be, um, what is the difference between covariance and variance? Um, can you simply say uh, covariance is that you ignore the square? We had in variance. Sorry? Uh, what is the difference between covariance and variance? Because uh, I remember variance, <coughs> we said um, it will always have to be positive. If at any case uh, the variance would be negative, that's when maybe the difference comes in during the covariance. Okay, good, good. So the same, the same thing we are going to, we are going to discuss here. Okay, so we are still on the same track. We are going to discuss it here. Covariance versus variance and see the difference. Okay. Yes, so just still uh, a little bit. In fact, it's, it's, this, it's the next uh, slide. Okay, and then we'll discuss about covariance and variance and see uh, that is the difference. Okay, we will see the difference. Okay, good. Let's uh, continue. We were in which slide? This one. Okay. Yeah, so uh, we've said uh, positive covariance. Uh, positive covariance between two variables indicates that this variable tends to be higher or lower at the same time. In other words, a positive covariance between variable x and y indicates that x is higher than average at the same times that y is higher than the average okay and vice versa so when uh, that is uh, plotted in a two dimensional graph the gra the data points will tend to uh, that is to slope backward okay that is for what for uh, uh, that is for a neg uh, is it for a positive yes for a positive uh, covariance okay then negative covariance so when uh, when we are talking about negative covariance okay the uh, that is the calculated covariance is less than what less than zero for positive covariance it's more than what zero the value is greater than zero okay so you can see when calculated uh, that is this is negative covariance when it is calculated it the its value is less than what than zero this indicates that the two variables as uh, have an inverse relationship in other words an x value that is lower than the average tend to be paired with y which is what which as uh, which is greater than uh, that is the average like you are trying to compare a small value with a what with a with that is with a big value 
that is uh, small in terms of what in terms of um uh, what can i say like uh, let me not do that statement it will confuse you we, what i'm saying that uh, as the value of as one variable increases okay the other variable is decreasing okay as one variable is increasing the other one is decreasing okay so in that scenario or in that case okay it's where we have what positive negative covariance let me just let's just go and check uh, some of uh, examples of this uh, positive correlation and uh, negative correlation okay like um, let's say real world uh, let's say application of covariance of let's say of positive covariance positive covariance let's go with positive covariance first okay i had some So, like an example, it's uh, okay. This one has no good example. Just a minute. There is one live example. Just a minute, got one, I guess. Yes, I guess this one will give us. Okay, so for example, we have some common like examples of, ah, this is correlation, sorry. Okay. We have one for, is it blood pressure? Let me just check. Good. Uh, this is for correlation. I need for covariance. But again, let me check for this. Height and weight, temperature. Let me check on our correlation. No, these are these are examples for correlation. Need one for covariance.
Oh, I'm getting most of them are um, correlations. But a good example I could have given for covariance, that is for the covariance, it is the, um, the price and the what? And the size. Or let's assume maybe you are given a data, okay, on uh, your income, like uh, people's income, and what? Expenditure. Expenditure. So, basically or logically, if you have a high income, what, what happens to your expenditure? Or... If we ha you have a, that is a low income, what happens to your expenditure or expenditure behavior, okay? So, basically, let me give you, it's a real example. Uh, let's, let's assume maybe uh, you were, uh, that is, you were working uh, on a salary um, of maybe, let's say, 10,000, okay, per month last year, okay? And your expenditure in the, in that uh, year was averagely uh, five to six thousand. Okay, what will happen when maybe uh, your uh, that is your salary or your income is increased maybe to one hundred thousand? What will happen logically? Like we can discuss that logically. What will happen? Someone like let's assume this year you are you are getting a pay of um, um of ten thousand shillings as your salary, okay? With an expenditure of monthly expenditure of six thousand, okay? What will happen if tomorrow? you will get, uh, if tomorrow you get a salary incre uh, that is increment to 100,000, what will happen to your expenditure? Yes, Mark, Lewis, or, uh, yeah? Uh, okay, I think, uh, mm -hmm. uh, economically, when an increase in income occurs, eh, uh -huh. there, ten, there tends to be a change in consumer behavior in that uh -huh. you tend to spend more because your income uh -huh. is a bit higher. Uh -huh. That's the same as tax. You are taxed more when you earn more. So an increase in income will always lead to uh, a positive increase in your expenditure. Okay. Yes, and thank you. Thank you for that, Mark Lewis. Uh, Denver? And maybe you will help me get the, that is the, the correct um, pronunciation of that name. The other one, <laughs> the other one I cannot really <laughs> try to... You cannot, you, can, you cannot face the, the other one. It's, yeah. it's really difficult. Yeah. But uh, the first one is Janvier. Janvier. Exactly. It's a French name. Okay. All right. I think All right. I, 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 then I've been uh, uh, pronouncing it wrongly. Janvier. Okay. Yeah, you've, you've been pronouncing it like the South Americans because for the South Americans, they don't, they don't have N between A and V. Okay. Yeah. So I, I wanted to, to say, like Larry said, when you have an increase in your income, like your salary, you also tend to change your ex expenses. So you increase, you tend to increase your expenses. Oh, so that means mm -hmm. they are going to, they are both to, they are going both to, incre to increase in two positive directions. So your salary is increased and also your expenses are going to increase. So in that case, it's like we are having two, uh, that is a positive covariance here. Uh, yes, of course. Exactly. Yes. So of course, uh, in case maybe if your salary um, is increased, 
Of course, you will need to change life the way uh, that is uh, the consumer behavior. You would also like to uh, maybe uh, if you are living in one bedroom or if you are living in a single um, room, okay, you tend also to go for uh, that is a uh, go to um, a, a one bedroom, okay. You can even increase uh, maybe or buy a stronger uh, system, a big TV. So what happened? Oh, uh, what hap it's happening here? You are now increasing what? You are now increasing your expenditure, okay? Because if you also buy um, that is most of those uh, uh, that is um, equipment, also your power bill or your electricity bill will also will also raise like basically this is a consumer behavior okay so in this case when one is increasing the other one will increase as well okay all right let let me jump now to co uh, that is to correlation okay before we can even go to correlation Let's try and see what is the difference between covariance and what? Covariance and variance. Okay. So basically, uh, that is uh, covariance for sure. It is related with what? With the uh, variance. Why? Because the two are measuring what? The spread of uh, data points in a data set. Okay. So both variance and covariance, they are measuring how data points are distributed. Okay, around uh, that is your calculated mean or around your mean. So basically covariance and variance, they try to explain uh, that is uh, the same thing. Okay, because uh, like for example, if covariance is of higher, uh, that is uh, a higher variable, uh, then it means you are what? your data points okay or your data let's say your data points are far away from what from each other or from from the mean okay but what are uh, what happens is that variance only measures uh, that is um, uh, that is the spread or the the do uh, that is the data the distance between the data points to the mean along maybe uh, a single axis okay but when we are talking about covariance it's trying to show us the what the directional let's assume we are having variables for y and uh, values for variable x and values for variable what for variable y okay when we try to check maybe the the the, the, the variance okay the variance here we are trying to check like the variance for x and its mean and also variance for y variable uh, values and its mean okay but when we are talking about covariance we are talking about now the relationship between the value uh, that is the values of variable uh, x and the uh, that is uh, the values of variable y so in this case for covariance, we are trying to see the relationship between the two variables, okay? But for variance, it is the data points to the mean. Like, if we are dealing with one variable, it will try, let's say, uh, let's assume x. It will try to show us, uh, that is, um, how values of variable x are what? Are uh, distributed or spread away from the what away from the mean of that variable okay i don't know uh, someone had asked uh, that question i don't know if that is clear uh, is it daniel um yeah yeah i think it's clear um it's only that I the scene is on a different way. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> you see, uh, in variance, uh, okay, I'm not disqualifying your argument, but okay. I'm just, mm -hmm. yeah, variance, uh, we are squaring uh, 
uh, it's just um the summation of one Vari- that v- one variable yeah and that we are squaring it eh? yes uh, in, in covariance uh we are just simply uh, adding the two different uh x and y that is not um, not basically adding like we are trying to compare okay uh, that is because from the formula which i had shown shown, shown you uh yeah. just a minute so basically you can see under covariance we are trying to do a summation of difference between variable x and variable y you can see this is the product between of variable uh, that is a difference in uh, like or uh, uh, yes difference between variable x and its mean and difference between what variable y and its mean so basically for covariance you can see we are trying to check the relationship okay or uh, the, yes let's say the the uh, the, um, the relationship or the directional relationship between these two variables here we are talking about two variables but when we talk about variance we are talking about only one variable if it is okay. x it is x but we cannot combine x a variable like two variables and now what when we are discussing uh, that is uh, variance okay but for variance the point is we are trying to compare uh, that is uh, the directional let's say uh, movement of the what of the two variables okay I don't know if still that's clear. Yeah, yeah, it is. I get it because I can see only for variance. Um, uh, the only determinant is the mean or uh, just the axis. Uh, but in covariance, that's why uh, the, 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 the focus is on two variables and the direction the two variables will be moving against each other. So I get it, yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. All right. I hope we are good for covariance. The the only remaining part is the practical part, but we can uh, go through the that is the takeaways. So, uh, what does covariance of zero mean? So, covariance of zero indicates that uh, there is no clear directional relationship between variables being measured. Okay? In other words, a high va- x value is equally likely to be paired with a high or low value uh, for what? For y. Like in case you get what? Covariance of zero. Basically, it means we don't have any directional or we don't have a clear uh, that is directional relationship between what? Between the two uh, variables being measured. Okay? Some of the takeaways we've taken from the covariance class is that covariance is a statistical tool that is used to determine the relationship between what? Uh, the movement of two random variables. Okay? Like, for example, when two stocks tend to move together, they are seen as having a positive covariance. When they move inversely, they have a covariance of, uh, which is negative. Okay, or they have a negative covariance. Okay, and we've seen that covariance is different from correlation coefficient. Okay, whereby correlation coefficient measures the strength of a relationship. Okay, between the two variables. Okay, then covariance is a significant tool in uh, modern portfolio theory as it is used to ascertain which securities to put in what in one portfolio okay and also risk and volatility can be reduced in this is about diversification like for example you might not uh, you might uh, decide not to put all positively correlated um, uh, that is assets okay in what 
uh, or you can decide not to invest okay not to in, uh, all not to invest or do all of your investment in what in positive correlated uh, securities okay otherwise you can try to diversify like you can uh, combine high performing uh, that is um, uh, securities and also low performing securities like uh, meaning in case of one factor the it won't influence all your what your securities okay otherwise if you use the same uh, that is uh, like uh, securities of the same characteristics okay or if you invest in the uh, in securities of uh, with the same characteristics meaning they are all affected by the same factors then in case of one uh, or in case of impact you might either lose big time or enjoy high profits okay but for a good investor definitely you will try to do what to mix uh, those different um, uh, that is securities for diversification purposes okay to avoid maybe the, uh, the risk of um, losses in case of um, uh, of any factor affecting the markets okay all right then we have uh, that is the correlation topic i don't know if we will be able to cover all about correlation today what maybe i can do i can keep this uh, that is a topic for tomorrow then uh, we will do what after tomorrow okay let's say uh, in our tomorrow's class we can cover correlation uh, coefficient topic and uh, then introduce our first practical class okay how is that maybe by show of thumbs up how many agree with that let me count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen fourteen so we have a, uh, currently we are 20 14 have shown uh, that is uh, 15 have shown uh, over have decided we pick it we pick that up tomorrow okay